What's the difference between a refinance, a renewal, and a modification? Let's clarify this. Hi, Dave Dickinson with Bankers Compliance Consulting. We use those terms like they're synonyms, but when it comes to the regulations, they absolutely are not. What's a refinance? Well, there's several components to it, but the first one, whether it be Truth in Lending, RESPA, or HUMDA, they all say that the new obligation satisfies, replaces, extinguishes the old obligation. Let me illustrate. This is Loan A, and Loan A is wiped out and replaced with Loan B. This satisfied, replaced, extinguished. If we go to court, I don't have to pull up the original loan. I only look at the old, new loan because it stands on its own. That is a refinancing on the contractual component of it. Let me contrast that to something else. Let's say we have loan A and I type up some little thing that attaches to it. Loan A is still here, this modification to those original terms. Probably has three things in it. It probably says something like this loan, one, two, three, four, five. We reference that. Number two is hereby changed as follows, and you state what's changing. And then three, all other terms and conditions remain the same. That's probably what is on this modification agreement. It attaches, if we go to court, I need this and this new thing. That is not a refinancing. Now, let's stick to Humda for just a minute. Humda goes a little further and it says you've got the satisfaction, but you also have to have the old and the new loan secured by a dwelling. So both the old, the new are secured by a dwelling and there has to be a common borrower in both the old and the new. Doesn't have to be all the borrowers, but there has to be at least one. Typically, we get into some situation where a couple is getting divorced. So husband and wife are on the loan. They both own 100% of that house. One is not buying out the other. One is removing the other. So let's say that I come in and say, I want to refinance my house and now it's just going to be in my name. I was on the old loan and now I'm on the new loan. So you have the common borrower. We also see that sometimes where uh, a home is left to some kids, you know, children, grown adults, let's say, but the parents died and they left that in their estate to their brothers, sisters, whatever. And so they own that, they got a loan, and now they want to buy out the other one. We might call that a purchase, but it's not. It's a refinance. If they're on the old loan and they're on the new loan, one in common. So three criteria, contract, satisfied, replace, extinguish with a new contract. We've got both the old and the new are secured by a dwelling and the one borrower in common. If you can check off all three of those boxes, that is a hum to refinance. I hope this demystifies that area that could be very confusing for you. Thanks for watching.